Hi everyone, Chef Derek Fox here and welcome to my Thor kitchen. Today, we are making a gluten-free vegan chocolate cheesecake. What? Sounds amazing. Let's go. All right, we are using gluten-free vegan chocolate chip cookies. This is how we're gonna make the crust. Cashews, 70% dark chocolate. I'm using 71%. Earth Balance butter. This is vegan butter, great, great substitute. Kite Hill cream cheese, a vegan cream cheese. Tastes delicious. Oat milk, and then monk fruit sugar. A great, zero calorie sugar substitute. All right, here we go. Now we're going to make the chocolate cookie crust. We have our cookies here. We need to really crumble them up, so we're gonna put them in our food processor. So once we're done grinding our cookies, we're going to melt some butter. We have two portions. One we're keeping cold for our chocolate because we're gonna make a chocolate ganache. And then we're gonna melt this butter for the crust. We're going to add our melted vegan butter. Now I did a half a stick in here um, and we're gonna slowly add it so we don't have too much butter. We're gonna get it to the right consistency. You know, your gluten-free vegan cookies, they're all gonna have a different consistency. These ones were already kind of moist, so we're gonna end up using less butter and a little bit more. So far, we're probably about five tablespoons of melted butter. We're looking for a wet sand texture to be able to like pack it in, kind of like when you're a kid building a sand castle at the beach. We want that texture. And you can go up the sides or you can just right at the edge. Be creative, you can use whatever pan you like if you wanna make it just a bottom crust because the cheesecake is going to set really nice and firm. So I'm just packing it down to make sure it's even and then we will put it in the oven and bake it. I haven't used these cookies before so I'm gonna bake it for like seven minutes, check on it and then adjust my time from there. It usually takes about 15 minutes. All right, let's put it in the oven. Now for our next step for our filling, there are a few steps to our filling. The first one, we need to soften our cashews. We're gonna take a cup of cashews in a pan, fill it with water just over the cashews and boil them for about five minutes. For our next step of our filling, we're gonna make a chocolate ganache uh, using our oat milk, vanilla, butter, and our 70% chocolate. We're gonna bring about eight to 10 ounces of oat milk to a scald. And this is a really fun trick. You need a little plastic wrap in your bowl. I'm gonna put this on some heat real quick. When that's heating up, we're gonna break open our chocolate. Ooh, it's like the Willy Wonka chocolate bar. a stick of butter in here and this is going to help make our filling really creamy but also set really nicely. I'm gonna break this up too so it melts. Lastly, it's called a teaspoon of vanilla. Great. Now when our milk comes to a scold we're gonna pour it over the top and then we're gonna cover with plastic and let it sit for about five minutes, and then we'll mix it up and it'll be really nice and smooth. Let's go check on that milk. Okay, so let's check on our ganache. So putting this plastic over helps keep the heat in, helps melt the butter, and just mix until it becomes a really nice, smooth chocolate consistency. Now, into our blender. Our cashews. Now we're gonna sweeten it up just a little bit. Some monk fruit sugar. Just a couple spoonfuls, sweeten it up. Now, let's blend this. Perfect. Okay, we have our cooled, gluten-free chocolate pie crust. 
that we made with our chocolate vegan cookies. And now we have our filling, and we're gonna pour it in. Oh my God. Okay, let's smooth it out. Great. Now here's the hardest part. We have to put this in the fridge for like four to six hours. Let the wait begin. All right, the wait is over. Let's grab our cheesecake. Ooh, crust is nice and firm. Oh, amazing. Well, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge for a midnight snack. Thank you.